What's up, gamers? Hello there. Hope you're all doing great today. Happy Saturday. We have more video games to play, and that makes me pretty happy. I'm excited. I also will say it again. I love the intro screen to this game where it actually shows your character and the stuff they're wearing holding the lantern. That's pretty tight. I like that a lot. I like that very much. Very good. Who do I see in chat? I see Richard, Cole, Guy Shard, Andre, Cole, Anthony, Akia, Storm, Small Fry, Leroy Old Gold, Sloan Gaming, Jancio, Winter. What's going on, guys? How we doing? What's up, Barge? Night Hunter Nix, hello. John Cornford, hello. Hope you're well too, man. Hope you're well too. I got the hang of the game and, the, and stopped the stuttering. It was the graphics setting for Xbox. All I can think of that I changed and it worked. Uh, from my understanding, there was a bit of a patch that went out yesterday that changed up performance for a lot of people. I guess they got rid of specifically, they got rid of uh, frame generation. I guess that was causing a lot of issues for people. So they removed it from the game for now so they can, you know, work on that. But, you know, props to them for being on top of it, you know. What's up, Blood Ego? Intoxication, hello, still banned, must be a record. Yep, get banned, nerd. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, auto intoxication. What's up, Minho? Degree, Len Musters, welcome, dudes. Hello there. Hey, Seth the Roth, how's it going, bud? Thank you all for tuning in. Let's go ahead and, and uh, see where we left off here. Let's see where we are. I know we made a lot of pretty solid progress yesterday. Um, a lot of people are still saying that um, dexterity-based weaponry is not good. I can't say that I agree. I am actually on par with a lot of people that are still playing the game. Even people that have been playing more than me are just in the same area that I am. And, you know, I feel like I'm doing okay. I feel like I'm doing all right. I think that maybe there's just a larger disparity in what these weapons of different scaling types are capable of. And I think that's where a lot of people are struggling. This game does seem to shine brighter where dexterity weapons seem to be a little bit more on the fast side, but, you know, and then strength weapons are slower, but they also will cause enemies to stagger more. I think a lot of people are relying heavily on those those staggers, not not poise breaking, but the staggers so that way they can keep swinging their weapon effectively. I think what that's what's largely happening here, which, you know, that's a game mechanic. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just a matter of. It is what it is in this regard. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Hold on. Let me make a small change here. There we go. I minimized OBS so that way I'm not seeing my screen twice. You swing your weapon effectively? I believe you, Screamer. I believe you. Why did... This guy just ran up to me and took a seat. What the? Oof. That guy, that guy walked up to me and then just took a seat right there. Interesting thing. I don't know if this is the right way. I actually don't know. But I'm going with it. Okay, no, it's not the right way. That's where we came from. That's not where I want to be. What's up, Kevin? What's up, Bren? Hey, Gera. What's going on, guys? Hendrax, hello. QBeast girl, welcome back. Lisa Y, Easy Vert, play now. I'm doing well, man. How are you? What's up, Kang? What's the consensus on this game? Is it good enough to play? I saw some pretty bad reviews, like two stars from five. I think um, I think it's a pretty good game. I'll be honest. I've been having an entirely good time playing so far. Who's this guy? Is that Solaire? Hello, Lampy. Oh, it's dressed in again. A nice man with a little mustache told me he saw the baddies taking Melchior to What's up, Young? Castle, and this was how to get there. And look... I found the helmet. The head that we're in, it fell right out and it fit perfect. That's a good sign, that is. Belkia said Mornstead were going to be the answer to all our problems. I don't know what problems we had, but Melchior knows best. Yes, he does. He'll sort everything out when I find him. Blimey, ain't half warm around here, though. What do you mean? The There's fire everywhere. Isn't that right, pal? Who the hell is Sir Snuffles? See? All right, he gave me a new emote, a gesture. 
Hand over unripe berries. Okay. Ooh, that is the spot. I feel like I could run a million billion miles. No All right. Better get in my way, or it'll be mm, mm, mm for them. Oh yeah. Look out, baddies! Melchior, here I come. Look out, baddies! I'm not sure what happens if I give him those unripe berries, but um, yeah, dude, you can have those. Those are for you. Enjoy your unripe berries. Weird thing to like, I think, but you know, to each their own. All right, here's this. Let's uh, move forward here, I guess. Is this really forward, though? What's up, Suzanne? Hello there. How's this game compared to Elden Ring? This is not a game you compare to Elden Ring. The only thing they have alike is being Souls-likes. That's it. The wor I feel like the worst mistake you can do as a Souls-like enjoyer is compare every Souls-like to Elden Ring. You're just gonna you're just gonna be disappointed every time if you do that. Uh, Amber, I don't really know the answer to that question. What uh, what starting class would I recommend? The uh, the only starting class that I've used so far is the um, the stalker, whatever you know, whatever the full name is. The one that starts with the two daggers. That's what I have now, actually. The two daggers. I'm not sure what I would recommend because I've not played them all yet. All right, we're dropping down here. Hopefully, I don't explode by these traps. Looks like they're not super sensitive. Ah, sneaky man. Okay. Okay. Man dropped a trap as he died. But yeah, I, I really can't recommend anything yet because I've just not experienced them all yet, you know? Oh my god. Fireman. Hey, Normie. Norby. Thank you for becoming a member of the channel, dude. I appreciate it a lot. Thank you very much for that, Norby. I'm happy to know that you enjoy what I do enough to do so. Thank you, man. I feel another challenge coming on. Wonder if we can do three days in a row. Think chat can do 300 in the first hour again? Hmm, do you guys think you guys, you guys can hit 300 in the first hour of stream again? Cole's presenting us with a challenge. And she hit that like button, folks. Uh, what's going on down there? Did I get it? I think I got it. Oh my god, I'm glad I dodged at the right time there. I found another hammer called the Scale Breaker. I mean, I guess we'll take this just because if we happen to enter the umbral, we'll have that option, I guess, but. What's up, Mifid Blue? How's it going? Final call, hello. Drop the trap, then he walks into it. Yeah, that's why I paused. I was like, why why did I why did I do that? What the hell's going on here? Does the game want me to jump over there? I think the game wants me to jump over there, because I certainly can't jump back up there. That's where I came from. Alright. I just expect uh, enemies around every corner in this game now. That is one thing I think this game is a little weak on. It's like, they really try hard to create a gank fest. Where there's just enemies in so many hidden locations that silently come up to you. They, con they, they constantly try to bait you into traps, which it, it kind of makes you hyper aware. Something that a lot of Souls-likes try to do is this same idea, but they do it in 
waves or like moments where it makes sense, right? Not every waking opportunity. <laughs> and so far I can say that this game has tried to do that in pretty much every waking opportunity so far, which makes me hyper aware of it and therefore it just kind of feels meh at this point. Oh, son of a bitch. Well, there's an item there, so we'll take it, I guess. Guardian. Okay, we can drop down there, but what's over this way? Oh, a man. Hey, man. Oh, more are you dudes. drop a trap? You did not drop a trap. Ouch. Ouch. It burns us, man. Ren, thank you for a gifted membership to Amber. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much, Bren, and Blood Ego becoming a member as well. Thank you very much, guys. Blood Ego and Bren. Thank you, dudes. All right, so we just went full circle. We're back where we entered the area. That's not what we want here. That's not what I wanted. Can I go through this? I sure can. What is this then kind of looks like a big fight yep let's say it looks like a pretty big fight it's another one of those ruiner guys uh wandering mind i can't say yet i've played through lies of p twice i've not done a full playthrough of this game yet i know a lot of people hate that answer but i i, I have a hard time comparing an incomplete playthrough to a full playthrough or at least, you know, a certain amount of hours at the very least. Okay, so we have that path. I want to go back to where I was before I go fight the Ruiner there. Winter. Gifting a membership as well. Going out to Chancio. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. Very nice, man. Thank you. Hope you don't forget to open the bell doors where, where earlier in the game. There are bosses. Yeah, I, I, I remember. There's a specific key that I have to buy for 9,500. I'm aware. I know. I'll get to it eventually. Just waiting for a time where I just kind of casually have that on me, and I want to spend it on that instead of, like, levels or something. I still feel like, um, at least damage-wise, I'm a little bit behind, but I'm trying to make it work, you know? Winter, thank you for gifting a membership. And Bloody Go, I'm, I'm glad that you you think that, man. I know you don't get to watch a lot. I understand. But the fact that you do that anyway means a lot, dude. I don't get to watch you as much as I would like to because I work 10 to 12 hours a day in the AM, but I love your content. It means a lot, buddy. Thank you for that. Truly, it does. And keep in mind as well, keep in mind as well, that even after a stream ends, those videos, or all my streams become videos, so those are there available for you to watch as well if you ever want to. What the? Some type of invisible wall there. But I don't want to go into the Umbral game. I don't want to. How would a Spear Sword only play through? I'm not making any plans for other playthroughs at this very moment until this one is done. I can get final thoughts on my experience. If I like it enough, then yeah, we'll do more playthroughs in the future, but... Just taking it day by day right now. I don't want to make any promises that I won't keep. I have a playthrough of Sekiro on my channel? I do not. I'm not a big fan of Sekiro, and that's something I played off stream when it came out years ago. And I just have no plans of ever playing it again. I just don't really enjoy the game. Where am I now? Oh, I know where I am. Okay, we're good. 
We're good. Okay. Uh, I know I only have one healing, but I'm going to make my way to the Ruiner anyway and see if I can just take him on. Are the helmets cosmetics? Do they come with stats? All the, all the gear comes with stats. But I'm not really looking at the stats so much as I am just the cosmetic side of it personally. All right, now I gotta find out where that guy was. Where was he? Where did I go for that? That's not the way. What's up, buddy love? How you doing, man? Guys, Cole says if we hit 300 likes before the end of the first hour, he's gonna gift some members, dude. Be mighty nice if you could hit that like button for us. Would be mighty nice. Fire Ward. There's one of those things there, too. Okay. Now, here's the question. How do I get out of here? Aha. There's always a way. Aha. Uh -huh. We went this way earlier and then we uh, ended up falling off of this, right? Right right there. And that goes that way. Okay, let's drop off here. There's those that way. Did I check up here already? Yeah, I mean, there's dead stuff here. I definitely did. Okay, I see where that is. All right. Let's go see if we can take on the Ruiner. I'm pretty sure it's down this way. Jumping Elden Ring or Bloodborne style, and it's Dark Souls style, where you need to run and then tap a button to jump. going around, seeing if I can clear out some of these basic enemies before I fight the big guy. Last thing I want them to do is interrupt my moments. Any more? I did see the item over here. I guess we don't even have, really have to fight that guy if we don't want to. Tassara's axe. Okay. I wonder if I can get a stealth hit on this guy. I can't imagine it'll let me get a stealth hit on a big guy like this. Yeah. I don't know what that does aside from maybe like slightly empowering him. Because it like makes him glow red, but I don't really know what that means, you know? What the hell, invisible wall, dude? What was that? Ugh. I mean, he's caught on it too, I guess. I mean, look at him. He's caught. There's some invisible wall right there. That's annoying. Ah, son of a bitch. Can you get unstuck, please?
I guess not. Oh, there you go. Are you unstuck now? His feet actually touched the ground there. Oof. Oh, wait, that unstuck him, dude. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. Uh, what, a, what a time to be alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that for us. Oh! Son of a bitch. Oof. All right. All right, man. All right, man. Gara says he's going to help out if we hit the challenge as well. Nice. Nice, dude. Oh, someone else said so as well? Oh, my God, you guys. Very surprised by that Sekiro comment. What was it specifically you didn't like? I thought the game was amazing, but not as good as Liza P for me. I just overall didn't like the vibe of the game. I didn't like the setting. I didn't really enjoy the combat. There just was not a whole lot there for me. If To give you a little bit more history on myself, I'm not exactly a fan of like Tenchu or other similar games as well. I just don't have a whole lot of interest in them. I just... Yeah. I just don't really resonate with those games. And I'm a, I'm a From Software fan, of course. You guys know this, but I'm just not really into that, I guess. It is not my jam. I gotta find out where the hell I gotta go again. Doesn't offer much variety in the terms of combat. Yeah, that is definitely a big lackluster thing for me. The game offers zero replayability to me. Hey, Gabor, how you doing? Where is it that I need to go? That's the trap area. I don't want to be hit by any of you. Please heck off. Please. All right. How many of those guys are going to follow me in here? Probably all of them. Ah. Oh, my God. Hit him, please. One of the games, polisher systems that you dislike, more the feeling and setting. I mean, even the systems I wasn't a fan of, yeah. I thought the game polish-wise was fine. Yeah, the game ran fine for me and everything. It's nothing to do with that. I just straight up did not enjoy the game. That's it. The game offers no replayability for me, and that is a massive problem in general. When it comes to a Souls-like, um, a lot of how I judge it is if it's something I would play again. Because these games are meant to be replayed again and again. Uh, let me upgrade my character while we're here. It was me. I'm on the gifting if we reach our goal. Ah, there it is. I was looking up in chat. I couldn't find it. Thank you, Blue. Thank you. Well, guys, we're one third of the way there already. If you haven't hit the like button yet, make sure you do. There's going to be a wave of gifted members to the channel if you guys hit 300 by that moment. Which I appreciate you guys putting in the offer on the table. Thank you.
God, I hate that what he, what he does with that right there. See if we can lure him away from it, and then... No? Nothing there? Nothing there either. Alright. Did he just block my soul flay? Oh my god, I'm getting caught on everything. Yeah, so that empowers his defense something fierce. He just got so tanky from this thing. Invisible wall again. Why? Why? <laughs> Alright, this area is fucked. This area is so messed up. There's two different invisible walls here, man. Why? Give me your rating for AC Mirage. I would not recommend it. That's my rating. Yeah, he's stuck on that wall again. Mans is stuck again, dude. Whatever. Okay, this area is messed up, dude. Look at this. Look at this huge invisible wall. Look at this. Massive invisible wall there. Unreal. Yikers moments. Like I'm stuck on you. What's up, Preston? How you doing, man? What's up, sir? RFI? Oof. Yeah, that's a major oof. Like an invisible wall this large in an area that's supposed to be open for combat, I am holding up on up on my analog stick. As you can see, I am sprinting now. Can I jump over it? Yeah, I can jump over it. What the hell, man? Josh doesn't get pissed off. He only reaches mildly annoyed. Yeah, that, that is a mildly annoyed moment. Anyway, we killed that guy, and uh, everything forward is going to be new, so I guess we take a rest at this. What's up, Josh Meadows? Hey, Turbay, how you doing? Burn salts. Oh, you know what? Let me, um... Is that a Ruiner respawn? Okay, so that that is a respawning Ruiner, which means we could probably farm more gear out of him. I did get a Ruiner Axe, but I'm curious what's in the area in the, um... Umbral. If there's anything, like, major. We did find the guy with the big head. That, that guy right there. I guess that's it. All right. Who do you think you are? How large is this in scope compared to Elden Ring? Elden Ring is an open world game, so you, you like when it comes to Souls likes, you cannot compare Elden Ring, its world and its gameplay to other Souls likes. It's just not a comparable thing, man. You're doing yourself a massive disservice by thinking that you can. They're intentionally very different scales and scopes. Elden Ring is the only, in existence, the only open world from soft, or from, the only open world souls like. All others are linear. Linear souls likes are very different from open world souls likes. 
not comparable because of that. Alright, we can climb down there. Let's make sure we're not missing anything here. You know, I'm always wary of, like, hidden items in the Umbral, but I don't think that is going to be a thing, because I think the items exist in both realms. It's a matter of, like, the area that changes based on the, uh, the Umbral idea. I get paranoid about that. Oh, don't fall. Thank you. Not call any souls map linear. They're linear in level design. Just because they can circle back through different routings doesn't make them not linear. The path forward of progression is still one singular path. It's just there's a lot of jutting and changing paths that lead you to different things and circling back for shortcuts and stuff like that. But the main path towards the end of the game is still one singular path. Oh my, as soon as I turn my back. As soon as I turn my back to this guy. What's up, Steve? How you doing, man? Oh, I forgot you explode. Where the hell did this guy come from? Okay. All right. I think we're about to have a case of the dead. What the hell, man? I... I hate you. <laughs> that guy, I hate him. <laughs> you just kick me. Have one back, idiot. Oh, no. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> well, guys, um, I just got the beat down of a lifetime there. I just got the beat down of a lifetime. Wish I did more repost damage. I, is, there's not a stat for that, is there? Like, Bloodborne has a stat for that. I wish there was a stat for that straight up, but I think it's just based on my dexterity. Because that's my main damage stat. I wonder, do weapons have critical scaling? It doesn't appear so. I see no critical scaling stat here. Hmm. So I wonder how that scales then. I wonder what, like, I wonder what chooses that scaling. Like, how does that go? I would like to know. For the sake of trying to do more damage with that. I'm wondering, it has a pseudo open world? How is it pseudo? There's not a whole lot more games that are more open world than Elden Ring is. Literally everywhere that is pictured on the map, you can access. Every single, every single location. What about that is pseudo? So where did that other guy with the axe come from? There was two of them here. Where did the second one come from? Want a Nintendo to remake Eternal Darkness? Hmm. That would be something, wouldn't it? Can I... Just get the doggo? 
No, it looks like the en Enchantress found me. I see no axe guy. Oh, another invisible wall there? What the hell, dude? I'm just trying to take this really slow because I don't want the axe guys to gank me again. Axe guys never showed up. Are they deeper in there? Infernal Enchantress skirt. Nice. It's going all right. Torsion, how are you, man? I am confused. Where are those axe guys? What? 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 Where are they? Where'd they go? I mean, okay. All right, guys, we're halfway to the goal of 300 in the first hour, and we have 23 minutes. If you're enjoying your time here today, or if you just want to support what I do, make sure you hit that like button. There's going to be a few people that gift a whole lot of memberships if we hit that 300 goal in the first hour. Yeah, I don't know where those axe guys went to at all. Yeah, that looks like it would be open. Let me check this out. Serrated staff? That looks like uh, an axe to me. Serrated staff. Oh, it's a spear. A pole arm? Wait, it's not even a spear. That's, that's a pole arm. All right. What's that look like? Yep, just as I would imagine. I mean, I'm not going to lie. For a pole arm, that does swing really fast. Oh, damn. All right. All right, man. The fact that they can hit me through that and then pull me into it, oh uh, yeah. All right, well, I guess we have to go in here. I was curious what's in here, so I guess we're finding out now. And of course, there's just really not anything, so. <laughs> Typical, but at least we can grab this. Wither Ward. the X on those weapons, it means that I can't use them. I don't have the proper stats to wield them. I don't have enough strength or whatever other attributes would be needed for it to, you know, to wield it properly.
get wrecked, fool. Oh, not one of the fly things, man. Oh, no. I hate these guys. Oh, no, dude. Those things are the worst. But at least they drop vestige seeds. Noticing a lot of weirdness in this area. I couldn't hurt that guy a couple, a couple of those swings. Strange. Shortcut. Shortcut. I do see this item over here. There's no way that I'm not going to try to get that, right? But how would I? from here. If I drop down on this, I'm not going to be able to get there. Oh, there's a hole in the wall there. Well, that's quite the, um, quite the thing. I guess we'll have, we'll have to try to find that. Oh my shit, dude. I mean, that's, that's, that's so typical gank fest. I should have known. I can't move! Dead. In case you're unaware, don't buy umbral, umbral scourings from merchants and whatnot. They're bugged. You not only lose the vigor it costs to buy them, but the scourings you do have are taken from you. Yikes. I'm going to pay you to take my goods. <laughs> that's essentially what that that's that is uh, happening there. I'm going to pay you to take my goods. All right, let's go to the ale house. Uh, where was that shortcut? Right up here. Hey, Medi, what's up? Now, where's the man that shot me from a million miles away? Oh my god, I'm stuck! Oh god damn it, dude! Dude, that was the worst. I was stuck. I was stuck between two brawny men. Raw mangler axe. Now, what of the guy that nuked me from a million miles away? Can I reach this? Ravager Gregory's Rosary. Just like your mom last night. I trained you so well, dude. I trained you so well. Oh, my God. All right, the rosary is a quest item. Yo, Aaron, what's up? It has been a while. How have you been? All 
All right, guys, we got 15 minutes till 5 p.m. and we're 115 likes away from the big 300 marker that we need. We have plenty of people here to do so. Plenty of people here already to do so. Make sure you hit that like button, dudes. Now, where does one go from here? Am I scared of my creations? Always. I mean, down here makes the most sense, but that also looks like a highly damaging fall. Oh, it's not. Okay. I have misjudged the fall damage in this game. Ah, there's that hole in the wall. Split crossbow. Interesting. I'm assuming that fires two shots then. Scales on strength. Has good physical damage to it though. Yeah, I remember that area from earlier in the game. So I guess what it would want me to do is fall back down here. That doesn't seem right to me. I'm already in the umbral, though, so I'm not going to find anything different. I guess it is what it is. All right. I am not going to reset a spaghetti. What's up, MAS? You've been scarred badly by gravity? That's the truth, man. That's the damn truth. Oh... Not at all what I wanted to happen there. But I just killed a man, so nice. Nice accident, dude. I plead not guilty, Your Honor. Nice, Aaron. That's cool. Well, it's good to have you here today. Happy anniversary. the same area. Boring game. Come watch me play Elden Ring. Yeah, that's going to get people to watch your channel, man. Surely, going around advertising in other areas will get people to watch you. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, well, none of this is where I want it to go. And these guys keep spawning on me. I hate it. I guess we need to find a different path. So I'm going to go the other way in which we came from in order to get that shortcut, but I may as well reset before I do so. Let's grab a level and get back out there. Josh is too nice. I mean, I could certainly be worse, but I just don't want to waste my energy on... Oh, I never rested. I don't want to waste my energy on being too weird. I never rested. I forgot that that's a thing. You can't just click on this. You have to rest as well to reset.
Didn't mean to do that. All right, guys, 10 minutes left. We have 10 minutes till 5 p.m. and we need 83 likes. Any likers? Any likers out there? Oh, some skulls. Nice. I think I found where we gotta go. To the rooftops. Well, I mean, I guess what I mean is to the next rooftop. We've already been going to rooftops. You mother bitch. Okay, well executed, guy. Okay. Okay. Well played. He set down a trap right behind me and then shoved me into it. That, that's big brain, dude. I got I gotta give it to him. That was big brain. That was good. Dang, wish I had seen that comment so I could block the user's channel. Yeah, see, that's exactly why you shouldn't tell <laughs> That's exactly why, guys. Like What's up, Gen X? You don't do that because it just leaves a bad taste in people's mouths. People don't want to see you uh, promote yourself that way. That's just not it. That's not what I signed up for. <laughs> El Granada, I completely understand, buddy. <laughs> Stillness robes. We got the robes and he gave us some nuggets as well. Oh my God, we got the nuggets. Okay. Look at me. I'm the Grim Reaper now. Look at me. You're pretty. Thank you, Hoka. Thank you. Black Feather Ranger Axe. Oh my god, another axe. So what's going on in the neighborhood around here? I'm going to go ahead and emerge from the umbral. What's going on, Shark? How you doing? Guys, we have five minutes and we need exactly 50 likes. Five minutes, 50 likes. I know it's annoying. The streamer, the, the YouTuber keeps mentioning likes. Oh my God. I know. I'm sorry. Listen, I know. I know. We have a challenge on the line here, okay? And I need your help to make it happen. We hit those likes... There's going to be some gifted members in the channel. And that's pretty pog. That's pretty cool. What the? 
Ring of Nourishment. Equip this ring to never feel hungry again. A ring fe featuring a bloodstained tooth. Regain health upon killing an enemy. Ooh. Okay, so I, I gotta see how much how much that does us. I love I love that it's a tooth that's socketed into it. A socketed tooth. All right, we can plant a seed here, but I'm not going to do that. I want to see what's up here before we do anything like like that. Anything of the sort. Just 20 likes to go, gamers. My Christ, insta killed. What the hell? You look a little stuck there, buddy. Infernal Enchantress armor. Damn, we're getting the whole armor set out of her. All right, just five likes to go, guys. Three minutes, five likes. Any last minute likers? And then I'll refrain from mentioning it for a while, okay? All right. It's just, you know, people put us up to the challenge to see if we could do it. I never, I never felt like we couldn't. Well, that's a boss fight. All right, let me just make a, a ground baby real quick, as one does. As one does, ground babies. There it is, guys. 300. I got, I got 320 likes on my side. Look at that, dude. Did I like Liza P better? I can't say. I've not completed this playthrough yet. Gara, thank you for five gifted members, man. I appreciate it, dude. Now, what is that? The guy looks kind of like Congregator of Flesh, doesn't he? But he's he's on fire this time. Maybe it's not the congregator. All I know is he looks big and snores angrily. Oh my god. Gara, thank you for five gifted members. Night Hunter Nix, thank you for five gifted members. Mythic Blue, thank you for ten gifted members. Dimitri, thank you for five gifted members. Elgarnot, thank you for five gifted members. Cole, thank you for five gifted members. <sighs> you guys. That, that's a lot of gifted members. Hendrax, thank you for the gifted member as well. Gen X Monk with five gifted members as well. What the hell is going on here? Okay, let, let me let me bring that back. We have Gera with five. Night Hunter Nyx with five. Mythic Blue with ten. Demetrius with five. Elgernon with five. Cole with five. Hendrax with one. Black Sun with five. Gen X Monk with five. Sharkbit with five. Oh my god. Buddy Love with five. Norby with another gifted member. The gift apocalypse is happening. Captain, thank you for 20 Danish. Have a nice weekend all. You too, buddy. Thank you for the kind words and thank you for the generosity. Yeah, <laughs> five, 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 five. The power of 300 likes right there. Oh, my God. Guys, that was that was 57 members in a matter of, like, 20 seconds. Thank you so much, all of you. Seriously, that's incredibly kind. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. 
I'm gonna fight this boss for you, okay? Okay, it's not the Congregator. Is he playing with dead bodies? He is. Oh my god. A dark moment in time. Ah! What? He looks back at me like, hey, how you doing? Spurned progeny. Well, this isn't good. Ah, oh, bro, you have, I don't know if you realize you have a whole hand in your mouth. Ah, oh, pain. All right, he does that three times. Noted. Looks like the burn spots are definitely weak spots. Now what are you doing? Oh! I got punched. Ah. Oh, that did not go well for Josh. Yikers. Will you give me your damn leg? Ah, terrible dodge. Okay. So what we learned here is that the range on those fire explosions, is, they're pretty large. They're much larger than what is visibly represented there. Or visually, visually represented. Anyways, let's get out there and get them toes. Shall we? Them toes, dude. Cole, thank you for putting the community up to the challenge, man. And thank you all for taking parts, uh, you know, leaving a like. And of course, thank you all for the gifted members as well. I really appreciate it a lot. This guy just sat on me. Ah, it leaves those spots that are still on fire. I hate it. Oh, brother. What are you doing? Um, how do I not take damage from this? What? Maybe the stairs over there? Okay, we yeah, we have to get on any elevated area. All right. It looks like he'll come over to us. Okay, this is interesting. Oh! Did you guys know that fire burns? Did you guys know? Oh god, don't throw up the hands! Okay, he, he threw up the hands. Not a fan. Alright. Alright, dude. All right, man. <laughs> My God.
proof? Oh, the fact that I just kind of melted, right? I think I think that's proof enough. <laughs> okay, so this guy has a whole new mechanic in his second phase, and the second phase is activated at about 75% HP. He also punches really hard. Go get my souls. Ah, you mother bitch! Oh god, here come the hands. The mouth hands. He takes a lot of damage to the mouth hand. A lot of damage there. Okay, what's happening now? Okay, well, I think getting out of the way is the right play. This is taking forever. Oh, shit. Come on, go away, fire. Oh, my God, dude. Okay, so in the future, it looks like he just kind of deletes that platform from existence for a while. So we need to go to the other ones. There are a total of three platforms here. He drops big bombs. My God, this guy is a menace. Full metal owl. They give it 280. 2.8 pounds. Says, hey, all. Hey, man, how you doing? Ouch. Thank you for the generosity, Owl. Oh, is it happening again? Looks like the whole arena's on fire. Maybe I get behind this? Okay, that's a nuke. Yeah, we do have to get behind something. Okay, I'm glad that I read that well. Where are you going, brother? Oh, thank you for the gifted member to Ismarex. I appreciate it. Elgernon with a gifted one. Going out to... Who's it going out to? Andre Perot. Ah, damn. God, fairly. Elgernon and Cole. Thank you, guys. Luminosity asks, why does it seem like there's no backstab? Because the backstab mechanic works differently. In order to get a backstab, you need to stealth up on an enemy and then do a heavy attack to drain their posture. And if their posture does drain in that moment, then you can get your critical hit on them. It's a bit of a different mechanic than most other souls likes. Okay, so I think we've got a pretty good read on them after those attempts. I think we can defeat them this time. Hopefully I don't eat those words.
that was weird. Oh, do not knock me down. Teamwards, thank you for gifting a membership, dude. That went out to uh, Hendrick. Thank you, Teamwards. Oh, damn it. Every time I get greedy, I end up falling off. brings a whole new level to hand, foot, and mouth disease, right? It's more just like entire arm disease, but yeah. Like this man has an entire arm in his mouth. I gotta go. Yeah, he's got he's got a little something like in the face region that's going on there. I don't quite know what it is. I can't imagine gagging up an entire arm every time I wanted to punch someone though. I didn't even see that till the last second. All right, give me. Also, what's really weird about this hand as well is it has an extra digit. There's six fingers on there. Oh god, he's doing it again. Oh, this is the nuke. We got to get behind something. There we go. Terrifying. Yep, and then he just sucks it right back up like a noodle. Oh god, here it comes. He's armed to the teeth. No, you didn't just say that, dude. <laughs> He's armed to the teeth. <laughs> oh, holy shit. I was not prepared. <laughs> okay, don't go for the greedy attack on that. That was my mistake. Come here. Great combo. Huge damage. the nuke again. Hey, what's up, Janet? Oh, man. That was funny, dude. Oh, oh wait, he can go back down. He's exhausted. What am I doing with my time here? Oh, I could have killed his ass here. Oh, oh, he's doing a nuke again, I think. I was not prepared. Okay, so he just does this until he dies, I think. Alright, we got him. Okay, so I was feeling pretty confident that we could do it that time, and I'm glad that I was right. Nice. Nice, dude. I hadn't even entered the, entered the umbral on that yet. Music on the horizon. 
Perhaps that's what will fill the holes in the world. I'll dance in its wake, pluck it from the air and bring it home. It's not so far away. Not so far at all. Okay, Remembrance of a Spurned Progeny. So we can actually get some boss items out of him, too. That's nice. Um, we could plant a, a ground baby here, but I'm going to just move forward or find a way to move forward and see if we can find a vestige. Because every time I do plant one at, like, one of these boss locations, I end up finding a vestige soon after, so... No drops? I got some drops from it. I did. Including a remembrance. Plant a ground baby as you do. Yeah, totally normal thing to do. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. See, exactly, exactly right here. There's a vestige. Let me go back and um, check the rest of this area, and then we'll use that vestige. I think because I have enough souls on me right now, I'm also going to buy that key that costs 9,500 just so we have it. We don't need that. I bet you it's daggers, dude. I will celebrate if it is. I have been pining for some new daggers, man. Though I don't even think I have the upgrade materials to be able to upgrade a new dagger at this point in time anyway. So, you know, I guess I'll take that as I will. But all right, there's nothing else here. Let's -a go. Probably given baby plate Sekiro. I have. I'm not a major fan of it, but I have. Okay, let's take a rest. All right. I just got this great comment on one of my Diablo 4 videos, guys, and I have to share this with you. This guy goes, if you choose Necromancer Plaque, ne ne if you choose Necromancer Class, then play like a Necromancer, not as a mage. Okay. I, I need to raise awareness here. Necromancer is a type of mage or wizard, sometimes a warlock, okay? If you don't understand that necromancy is a subclass or a type of magical casting, then I'm sorry, but... <laughs> wow. Hold on. Okay. I, I do you not guys listen. Do you think people just kind of carry around bone spears in their pocket to just throw them? No, of course not. They they summon them. They create them in the moment. It, it's a it, it's a type of conjuring in that moment. I, uh, I, I just <sighs> I don't, I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that guy. I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I know everything about something in any way, shape, or form. But my name when I was streaming on Twitch was literally Necro. Do you think I go into this and call myself Necro without understanding what necromancers are capable of? Is that... Is that is that a thing people think? Do you think that I just dabble in the idea of it? And I was like, yeah, you know what? That's a cool word. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to name my, my entire Twitch account that I'm going to have a career around something I have no idea, no, something I don't understand. Of course not. I'm sorry, I just, like, when it comes to stupid comments like that, I, I just... My brain doesn't ouch. <laughs> that is true, Screamer. Offer Remembrance Spurned Progeny. A piece of some kind of fleshy cord. Guys, I found an umbilical cord. 
Nice. All right, he has Magma Surge and then Charred Roots, which is a ring. Cast Inferno Sorceries with a non-Inferno Catalyst. Okay. Well, neither of those do anything for me in this moment, but uh, yeah. I guess that's a choice. Yeah. Nothing else here of interest to me, so let me just go buy that key from the guy. Who is the guy that has that key? Is it you? I think it's you. Yeah, right here. Pilgrim's Perch Key. Key intended to use on certain doors and Pilgrim's Perch. Let me just uh, snag that up for me, buddy. Our Immaculate Lady will bring redemption. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a door close by here in which we could use it, but first let me rest. How's the game feeling so far? I'm enjoying it a lot, KLF. I think it's a good game. I think it's a pretty good game. I'm enjoying it. Yo, Shark, they have the 22 euros. You should play the way I want you to. These mechanics that allow you to play the game you do are not meant to be used the way you do. Again, showing how selfish of a streamer you are. Shame. Selfish streamer. Shark, they give the 22 bones, dude. The 22 bones. Thank you, man. I appreciate it a lot. It's very kind. Where the hell are... It's not this door. The ones I'm thinking of have the bells on them. I actually think I might know where one is. Um, this is where we came into the area. That's not what I want. What we want to do is progress through. Have a great night, Aaron. Thank you for stopping by. It was good to see you. Hope to see you again soon. Tell the husband I said hello. Is there also magic in this game? Yes. You have two different scaling ideas for it. One called um, Radiance and the other one is something else. Inferno. One is Radiance, which is Holy. Inferno, which is Fire. There's also something called Wither Damage, but I'm not sure if that's considered magic. You got me trained to hit the like button before the video can load. Oh! Oh my god, I lived. Yo, Jake. I like it, dude. Thank you for leaving a like on the video. As I almost get shoved off of a cliff. Whew. Now, my memory is telling me there's one here, but I think that's... Yep, that's not actually true. There's not one here. It is a locked door, but it's boarded up. It's not interactable. Is there one further in here then? I remember there one being here somewhere around the Skyrest area. Let me look further in. Was it in here to the left? Nope, that's the same door as outside. Okay. Well, here's Pilgrim's Perch. We did buy the Pilgrim's Perch key. So I guess we do a little looking around for a bit. I guess. Are the footsteps faster than the guy's actually moving? I don't know. No, they're matching up. I just think that the movement is so quick that it's kind of like hard to read. But they match up. Yeah, they're matching up for me.
Uh, I hate I, I I I hate not being able to remember where things are, man. Oh, snipers. Hey dudes. Can you guys stop trying to snipe me? Can you just stop it? Oh! I can't help but feel like there should be one around here somewhere. gonna hurt. It's fine. I don't know why, but I remember there being one, like, in a cave. Is it, th is it just this? Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm looking for the doors with the bell on them. What's in the box? Sacred resonance sets. Okay. Looks like I can literally wear a bell on my head. I don't know how to feel about that. So, I guess... I don't know. I can explore this area again later. I remember there being... I thought this, this key was going to go to the doors that have the bells on them, which I think it still does. I, I very much so think it still does. I just don't remember their locations. So... Yeah. Yeah. Common Orient Prayer. Nice. Sounds good, Mythic Blue. We'll be here. Keep coming up here like there's something up here, but there's just not. Wasn't it in the Umbral? No, I remember specifically seeing these doors not in Umbral. I wouldn't doubt if they're also in Umbral. I, I got iframes by clicking on the ladder at the right time there, but not while climbing it. Okay. Big brain moment from that guy. Would you say is your least favorite boss in Lies of P? Least favorites? Oh, damn it. Probably gonna be a close like I, it's not a main boss but that mad clown puppet man like that that mad clown puppet did my head in for a while
Oh. I'm just gonna progress through the area and see what happens here. Oh shit. I think the Mad Clown Puppet is a, um, you know, I, I got through it a couple times and so like, it's not like it's not beatable. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, I know where I am again. We have this vestige. Ah, there's one. Aha. Aha ha ha. Aha ha ha. Okay, there's guys in here. I'm gonna take a quick rest. Brother, I mean, can I just... It's personal now, dude. It's personal now. Come here. No, you're not allowed up here anymore. You gotta go. You're not welcome here. You must go. No, stand up. We're not we're not doing that. Get the hell out of here. Screw that guy. Mad Clown Puppet was so frustrating. Two hit deaths and so much health. <laughs> yeah. The secret to him is just being very aggressive. Ardent Penitent Torso Chains? Oh, please tell me that is what I think it is. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. It's like the the, the dark fantasy version of a mess a mesh shirt. Look at this. It's like a dark fantasy mesh shirt, dude. This is what the people wear to the clubs in the dark fantasy 1980s. Anyway, I'm going to put the dark cloak back on now. What the hell was that? Oh, it's you. Oh my god, dude, you have a lot of health. What are you doing? Okay. Oh, what the f I have no healing, so this is cool. There's so many. Oh, God. What I've been baited into, man. Well, that was a uh, great discovery. That was, that was, yeah. <laughs> that, that was something.
just gonna soul flay you. Okay, that, that still does nothing. So they're still, they're still trying to bait me into that room. I guess I'm gonna take it again. After I grab this. Pure blade shields. Now, where's the guy that ambushed me? Okay, I mean, we're not in the umbral, so it's fine. We can just kind of yoink that up. Oh my god, that room is so active with a million. That's bait. Oh, that's bait. We know that. Where the hell is this orb? Looks like it's right next to me. But yet I don't see it. Is it actually down this way? No. What the hell? Why am I not seeing it? Okay, it looks like it goes straight around the corner. So maybe I'm just getting baited harder than I thought. Oh my god, that's a lot of dudes. No, I mean, I'm, I'm just not seeing it here. Is it the damn fairy thing? It is. Okay, dude. Okay, man. What the hell keeps happening there? Come here, you little shit. My God. Don't worry, guys, it's not what you think it is. You and me now. Nah. Okay, so we killed that, but then there's the matter of the thing out here. I mean, it's no longer tied to it. Thorned Penitent Mask. Okay. I think that's the first time I've gotten that. Where is it? It's not here. So it must be a quest item. Oh no, there it is. Hey. I kind of like it. Let's look, let's keep it on. That, that one, that item there is not actually an item. It's a mimic. Don't take it. Both of these paths lead the same direction. One's just higher up than the other, which is good news because then we can just kind of take out the crossbow guy up here. There's another one down below, though. Oh. Looks like that path ends up here, so let me just drop down 
take out any nerds that need to be taken out. Come here. Come on, man. What the hitbox was that? Oh, I should have known, dude. I'm out. I'm out. There's no way I'm staying in that room. No way, bud. Hey, crossbow guy. I don't think you understand how dead you are, friends. Ouch. Sneaky man. Everyone's trying to bait me into being attacked by something else. I swear. This entire game is just a gank fest. <laughs> okay. It looks like I can lower that, and yet I seemingly cannot at the same time. Anyway, we can exit the umbral there, but I am out of healing anyway. Um, I don't see any items down there. Oh, there's one over there. I'm going for it. I'm greedy. Devotion's might, it's another freaking hammer. Guys, can we, let's just, let's just take a quick count, all right? Let me just So we have one, we have two daggers. The two daggers that we started with, right? Dagger 1, dagger 2. And then we have a broken sword, which is considered a dagger, I guess, but reality it's just a broken sword. And then we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 six short swords. We have 1 2 three three long swords we we have four axes five six seven eight nine okay so eight eight regular axes and then we have three grand axes we have one two three four four hammers one two three four four grand hammers we have three flails and then six seven eight nine Nine spears and a pole arm. Yeah. Yeah. Josh is stuck stuck over here with just the basic the basic ass daggers that you start with as a stalker. <laughs> oh. This guy's here now. Okay. I got so caught up talking about the uh, the weaponry. Nifemi, have a good night, man. Take it easy. Am I going to play Alone in the Dark? Not really. I don't think so. I was not really into the, the original, so I don't think the remake is going to do it for me either. The good news is, is I can just ignore these fools because I've already taken them out. I figured out that area. We're good to go. Now, from here, we're going to make our way out across here and hopefully not die. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh my Christ. You know what, man? This is fine. I got my stuff back. We can carry on. Get the hell out of here. I don't like you. I don't like you either. No, get, I said, I said go. I hear crying babies. 
surely not a good sign. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I guess we're in the pit now. Oh, come on! <laughs> Forget daggers, kick only run, right? Just kick them all, dude. Hey, Gara, they give the $2. Is the game trolling you? No daggers for you. Yeah, I mean, I guess... I guess I just don't get any. I guess I just don't. It is what it is. <laughs> oh, you know what I should do, actually? Is I am going to go this way. Because that'll cut those guys off. And then I can get on the higher ground and take out the other crossbow guy. Yeah. That's going to miss! So did he. Oh, not that time. You mother... This game might be too hard for you. James, do you know who I am, dude? Do you even know who I am? Um, let me, let me, let me, let me hit him with it. Do you even know who I am? I am the most persistent man you've ever witnessed in your life. There is not a single game that I've wanted to beat that I haven't. Okay, that's not going to stop here. Goes my souls. The spellcaster all the way over there, man. Persistence doesn't always prevail in video games. For me, it most certainly does. I've never seen you die so much, though. If you've watched any of my Elden Ring playthroughs, then that's absolutely a lie. My first couple Elden Ring playthroughs were so filled with death, man. You think this is bad? My god, you see nothing. Oh my god, the beatdown of a lifetime just happened. Oh. Into eternity. And skipping fights is because I've already fought all those guys and I was trying to get my souls. Hey, like, bro, don't, please don't. If you've been here for more than a few hours, then you already know how this goes. <laughs> Alright, luckily the push does no damage. The gank! Dude, I swear it's a gank fest! Gank fest 2023! <laughs> what, the, what the gank, man? Oh my god. Hey, what's up, Alex? Hey, Devandis, thank you for the two pounds. You missed my previous super chat? I did? Let me take a look here. Oh, yeah, I see it there. Sorry about that, Devanus. It says two pounds. Hey, Josh, have you ever had decaf coffee? I have, yeah. I prefer my coffee caffeinated, but I have had decaf, yes. Sorry I missed that, man. I give it the four pounds, though. Sometimes as you get so involved in the game that, uh, you know, I just don't see stuff. 
Apologies. Oof. No, I don't want to do that. Let me just... Okay, now about the guy down here. I tried to parry that, but it was way too late. Probably a strength increaser, yeah? Yep, increased strength attributes. What's your honest opinion of the game so far? I enjoy it. But also, when I give my opinions, I'm not going to lie to you. What's the point in lying about your opinions, right? <laughs> I've been having a good time playing it. Alright, let's carry on. I need to find a way to exit the Umbral real soon. I did pass a moment earlier where I could have. But I don't want to go all the way back there. Hammer of Holy Agony. Ah, yes, perfect. Crossbow, man. Hey guys, I found another hammer. Are you surprised? Oh god, I almost jumped right off. Okay, bro. Stop it. The Grim Reaper is going to show up any moment now. Could plant a vestige there. Could. Let's see where up goes. A man and his dog. Seriously? Okay, I'm not going that way for now. They spawned one of the worst enemies in the game on me. And the Grim Reaper's here! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Worth it. Worth it! Reaper's gonna show up any moment, literally me every birthday. Oh no, dude. Oh no. What's up, Tagus? How you doing, man? Alright, we're going back in there again.
Oh, that still hit me. Mother bitch. Okay. Oh my fuck. There's so many projectiles in that room that um, trying to dodge any of them just results you in getting hit by the next one immediately. <laughs> Thomas, what's up, man? Watch out for the gang fest on the right. Hello there. I dodged too early. class am I using? Stalker. Hey, Dano. Hey, Jace. What's up, DB? What character am I using for my second playthrough? I have no idea. I'm not guaranteeing that I'm going to do a second playthrough as of yet because, you know, other games and whatnot. We'll see what happens, though. We'll see what happens. If I had to guess, though, because I'm using daggers and going for, like, a light, light build this time, I'd probably do something heavier and strength-related. I can't get by that guy. Game worth it for a Souls fan? I think so. I've been having fun with it. Lord of the Fallen off the cliff. True. Got the item out of that already, so now we need to go up the other path here. Gonna kill this guy so he doesn't follow me up. These guys do have a tendency of following you for some pretty lengthy ranges. I... I'm gonna plant a vestige right there. That's what I'm doing. Ooh, some large shards. Okay. That's new. We didn't get the nuggets. This time we got large shards. What's up, homie? How you doing, man? Why is it difficult to make good PvP for these types of games? That is a wonderful question. The realistic answer is that there's so many different parts going on. So many different moving parts that have their own stats that... Even if you were to give it several glances over, you would still end up finding something that is just stronger than everything else. That's the nature of it. That, like, that, that's just how it is. Hey, Armands, thank you for 16 months of membership here. Hi, Josh and Chatters. Hope you're all doing great. Does this game have various character build possibilities? Yes, it has many. It also has a shitload of different items, too. 
the variety in the game is pretty high. Well, this certainly seems ominous. There's a man with a maul in there. That's a man with a big old hammer. Perry, 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 Perry. Dude, I love that when they shoot both of their bolts, they immediately try to run. Like, oh shit, I'm out of ammo. All right, that's a man with the big helmets. And there's another guy with a crossbow up there too. You cheeky bastard. This is what I feared. Okay. Been so fast. Oh, how many punches does this man have? Okay, I have no more healing and also basically no more health, so this is looking pretty great. There's that guy's crossbow. An area to exit the umbral right there, but also a dog. And a big guy. Why is he stuck? And why are there so many dogs in one place? No! Oh, I failed my parry. Holy. No daggers, though? Yeah, there's a lot of different moving parts in this game. A lot of items, but seemingly no daggers. <laughs> The revival system in this game kind of like Sekiro's. I mean, in the idea that you can have two lives, essentially, yes, but I wouldn't really compare it to that because it's a different sense. When you die, you go to the Umbral, or what is like this game's underworld, and when you go there, you end up in a situation where if you die there, your soul dies, and so your character permanently dies in that moment. And you can actually like get your other life back by finding an exit from the underworld by these very specific effigies that you can use. So it's the very basic same I same premise, but overall they're different in how they function. I always try to sneak in an attack in between his. It doesn't work that way here. Why are you backing off? You have a big hammer and a shield. Come on. 
Come on. Okay. All right. I instigated that. I deserved it. A lot, Aaron. A lot. invaded yet? No. I turned uh, the online stuff off. I'm not really a fan of PvP in this type of game. I never have been. And that is no exception here. Crossbow, dude. How oh, the boss fights been? Some of them are pretty tough. Some I don't find to be so tough. Like the, the last boss I fought, I only took down in a few tries. I don't think it was bad at all. It's more just kind of learning what the attacks do in that moment, you know? Where's the, uh, the helmet guy? Oh, there you are. Just gonna run on by this guy, because I don't want to deal with them. And we're schmoovin'. Oh, you followed me up. Sick, dude. Oh my god, there's even more. Son of a bitch, dude. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, you little... Million dogs. And you. Why don't you come out this way, little buddy? Yeah. That dog is stuck in the wall up there. Jesus Christ. Bloody glory. Looks like another sword. Oh my god! <laughs> This guy made his made his way all the way back up. Holy hell, man! Yep, and the dog's unstuck. I think the fairy thing just spawned. This is this is an absolute nightmare. This is a gank fest. Once again, I think that's the biggest fault of this game is like, there's just a million enemies. I think they could tone down the enemies by like, ten to fifteen percent, and it would be a lot better paced.
You know, the big guy is still up here. I, I never saw him. He's over there just beating his own, beating his own ass. Oh, good. I'm glad you could spawn here. Join us. What the hell? And now the Grim Reaper. All right. Time to plant a ground, baby. Good God, man. Fight him with what health, Andre? <laughs> with what health? I don't know his moveset, and uh, I had one hit. The Sacred Resonance of Tenacity. It is a boss. Okay. Shot me. <laughs> Man just beats on his own skull and just puts out this huge holy AoE. What the hell is even that? <laughs> he almost one shot me with that shit. Gotta go, because you're doing the, the gong thing here. Oh, no, you're not going to do it? What's up, Mustafa? How you doing? You play any sports as a kid? I play travel soccer. I played a lot of hockey growing up. I played right wing. How many hours am I in this one? Um, right around 12-ish now. Oh, no. Let's not go up there. Let me reset this, actually. I'm going to go fight the boss, and then we'll make our way up. How to see with the bell on his head? Holy magics, my dude. Holy magics. I don't know. <laughs> I, I have no good answer for this. Ouch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Why are you walking that way? Come over here. There you go. Are you serious? Through the wall. Well, at least he killed some of his own men. Wait, you're still... 
got a personal one, too. Interesting. Buddy! Okay, I parry and I still get punished for it. Sag. Dodge. Man said, bing bong. Would you look at that? We got his hammer. Would you look at that? Yeah, see, this is exactly what I, what, what I mean. Like, when I learn an enemy's movesets, I, I can get through it pretty regularly. It's just when there's like a such a massive amount of enemies that, that it becomes annoying. And there is a bit of a wall here. Like every circular room has that type of little wall to it. Get a bell head? We already got one. We got we got the sacred resonance bell earlier. What the hell is even Oh. Hey. Anyway, let me reset the area. And so we have some healing. And then we'll continue exploring the region. <laughs> Another hammer, I know. I know, man. Let's take a look at it, though. Sacred Resonance Hammer. I will say I do like the bonk noise it makes. <laughs> that is one thing about the hammers, dude. They make a great bonk noise in this game. Hey, Robert, what's up? Find new daggers? Nope, not yet. Still no new daggers. Okay, let's spend some of this experience. How to backstab work in this game? You have to uh, sneak up on the enemy and then do a heavy right trigger attack. And then if it knocks them down, you can get a backstab right then and there. But okay, I'm going to leave this right here. I'm going to take a quick break, guys. I have to pee. I'll be back in just a minute. Thank you all for hanging out. Thank you for leaving a like on the video. We're only 40 likes away from 500. We have plenty here, plenty of people here to do so. If you're enjoying your time here, thank you for hitting the like button. I'll be right back, dudes.
All right, we're back, guys. Look at that as well. 500 likes. Oh my god. Amazing. Now let's go to let's go uh, explore this way cuz I saw some more pathing here. We'll go back and explore the other way as well. I do have what it takes to upgrade my other weapon, but I'm trying to hold off until we find a new dagger, you know? Ow. Ow. It's cool that we can still see that tree from up here, too. No ganker here? Wow. Yep, more large duralium shards. Duralium, duralium? I don't know. Now, what could possibly be all the way up here? Ah! A ganker. Look at that, guys. A chest. A chest! Small Duralium, regular Duralium, and large Duralium. We just found all the chicken nuggets, man. And we do have this ladder we can push down. Where does it go? I feel like I know this area from earlier in the game, because I do. I most certainly do know it from earlier in the game. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so a bit of a shortcut here, I guess? I don't know. Let's just go up. According to the wiki, there's 10 daggers in the game, and I have found zero of them. Nice. I wouldn't doubt if I've actually skipped over one or two at this point. I wouldn't doubt that at all. Uh, game? Hello? I... The game won't let me walk this way. What? There we go. I had to step on the invisible wall first. Yikes. Why do people always concentrate on something negative than positive? What the hell's wrong with the population? That's actually a human psychology thing. Negative things are easier to stand out. Uh, it's something that our brains are hardwired to do. It's what's helped us survive. Part of why we've had such a great survival is we focus on the negative to overcome it. Uh, it's just in today's day and age, oh damn, a lot of people will focus on it in a different way because, you know, social media wasn't exactly part of the, uh, <laughs> The evolutionary plan at the time, you know? But it's actually a human psychology thing, man. It's very normal. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. This is... This is cool. I guess I'm just going to go up the elevator because... <laughs> okay. Indeed software, what's up, man? Let's 
was at one of those doors. You know, I couldn't get a good look at it because I was being attacked by like 30 enemies simultaneously. So, um, we're going to go take a look at it again. Yeah. Have a good night, Andre. But yeah, negative things just stand out faster to people because... I mean, you could take it in reviews as well. Oftentimes, when people are talking about something that they, uh, that they, you know, they were looking forward to, they'll often leave a negative sentiment most of the time. It's just naturally that way. It's why oftentimes people will go out of their way to review bomb something, but they won't go out of their way to say something nice unless they're provoked by over overly large amounts of negativity. God damn it, just die. some pretty clean movement right there. I love that the elevator still went up, even though I died on it. <laughs> it just it just kept going. Pure blade mace. Am I still enjoying the game? I am, yeah. All right, this is a no key required door, but then there's one of these dudes in there. Hey man, would you like to come outside and maybe do the tango? Yeah. Oh. Sucks that I didn't get that um, the counter attack because his clone knocked me out of the uh, animation, but still, overall good fight. Now, what the hell was that? What just launched at me? Someone just lobbed something at me. What the hell is even that? Is it a dagger? Blood letter. I mean, it looks small, but I think it's a fist weapon based on the shape. Yeah, it's a fist weapon. Damn. Damn. But hey, uh, we found another fist weapon, so I guess that's cool. Oh, damn, it looks nasty. It looks nasty. Oh, if you do, if you tap Y, you won any chance. Neat. Neat. Anyway, let's see what's up top now. I don't mind ads, but previous streams didn't happen before. During, just before. Chemical Jehuti, that's because YouTube made changes. I have no control over that. YouTube plays ads during all live streams across the entire website now. It's not just my channel. It is universal. That is a YouTube change, not a me change. I have no choice in the matter. The 
most I can do is I have three settings. I can put it on conservative, balanced, and um, what's the other one called? There's like, there's few ads, there's some ads, and there's a lot of ads. I have it set to as little as possible. I have no choice in that matter, buddy. None at all. What's up, simple man? Ooh, there's a vestige over there. And I know this point doesn't really do a whole lot for a lot of people, but also please try to keep in mind that ads do help me get paid regardless. Even if there's only a few of them, I do get a little bit of money from it, a little bit of a kickback just for being, you know, here, which is nice. And also, it's not nearly as many ads as are shown on Twitch. So that's a bit of a silver lining as well. If you've ever been on Twitch, then I'm sure many times you've been hit with those three to five minute blocks of ads. Yeah. Ugh. These crossbow guys are something. Ah. What? You little son of a bitch. I do these guys. I was trying to read chat, man. I was trying to read chat. And these guys just kind of ganked me. They, they should be uh, Lords of the Gankers. Or, I, I don't know, something along those lines. I'm so pretty fond of the title Gankfest 2023. Holy heck, these guys, huh? What'd you drop for me? Looks like a rune of some kind. All right. Anyway, do I have a moment to read chat or am I being followed? I am being slightly followed, but we're okay. What's up, Morning Frost? What class am I? I started off as the uh, stalker. Oh my. Oh. Buddy, you're a little stuck, huh? Oh. <laughs> Is this the nine in every class? No. It's the exiled stalker. Oh, there we go. A shortcut. Still no new daggers? Nope. None at all, Manjuro. Still none at all. This looks like a boss room from this angle. Okay, maybe not. No. Just, you know, a cleric. I will fight you. Okay, uh, I just got hit by something more. There's a crossbow guy. There's always a crossbow guy with these guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go uh, reset. I had no idea the crossbow guy was on the cliff there. Oh, my God. Can I even make that jump? I don't think I can make that jump. We have a shortcut, but... Wish me luck. Oh! Oh my god, we did it.
which one is more demonic, this game or Elden Ring? This one has a lot more dark factors to it than Elden Ring Romero. This is very much so dark fantasy based, which Miyazaki has already said that a lot of his games like Dark Souls, uh, you know, uh, as well as Elden Ring, they have like a they have a very dark fantasy vibe to them as well. Right. That is their intention here. But I would say this is darker yet. But Elden Ring and Dark Souls all have some very dark themes to them. Extremely dark for sure. Bitch. Why do I hear something behind me? Because I do. Okay, playing with a mouse and keyboard or controller, I'm playing with controller. I see him up there. We're gonna fight you over here, bud. Out of sight of the crossbow guy. You understand. Telling me there's no enemy here. I don't. I just don't trust the game right now. I just feel like there's going to be an enemy in every single corner. All right, we can go in here. Ah, you see, that's what I thought. What's up, Jen? Oh, some nuggets, dude. We got some nuggets. I expected as much. That means crossbow guy's going to be right here. I forgot an item down there, too. We got some nuggets. All right, let's hop down here. Okay. All right. Up we go. That's a big bell right there. crossbow guy. There's always a crossbow guys with with these clerics. Always. Some smite salts. All right, where'd crossbow dude go? There you go. 
Yeah, you better run. <laughs> There's an item up there. Third bar on the top left, top left corner, health, stamina, and uh, that might be mana. Maybe. I don't know. I've not really used it. I'm not casting any spells, so but that that's what I assume it would be. Game looks very flail and axe friendly. Not many swords as well. Oh no, there's a lot of swords too. Look at all these. Look at all these. From here. Hold on, right here, where my reticle is right now. Let me let me show you my mouse. Right here. This is a this is a sword. All the way down to this are swords. You got short swords, long swords, and grand swords. All the way from there to there in my inventory. There's plenty of swords. We know of a crossbow guy in there. Okay. Yep. I was expecting something more. Oh. Well, that's certainly a find, isn't it? Let me see if he'll come out here and fight me. Yeah, it looks like he's down. Yeah. He looks like he's down to vibe out here. Oof. That hit me. Oh, crunchy. No. Ah, that was greedy of me. I always forget that after he does the poke that he's going to do a swing as well. Oh my god, the timing is terrible on my behalf. finish it's your ammunition display ah okay you have no mana bar because you don't have a spell equipped okay that makes sense right on right on dude What the hell was that bird just flew over my head? Oh, son of a bitch. I walked into it. Okay. Um, 
Yep, I knew that was stupid. I was locked in that animation. Welcome back, Mythic Blue. Happy birthday, Josh. I was not aware it's my birthday, Elgernon. I was not aware of that. Oh my god, the crossbow man is back. Oh, shit. Yep. Yeah, you better run. A bleed cure. Happy non B day anyway. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Unripe berries. Oh, we got some more of those for the other guy. Gankers? That is a big, big mace there, brother. Is that your big mace, or are you just happy to see me? Man's kitchen key. Okay, we're going to go down... Uh, before we go up here, I want to explore more down here because I know there's some more stuff that I did not look at yet. Uh, what is that? It sounds like a reaper is following me, and yet there are no visuals. Another big mace man over there. Have a good night, Jen. Checking every corner diligently. Oh God, don't spawn. Okay, it looks like there's nothing else here in these main hall areas. So I think I'm just gonna have to reset at this point because I don't think I can really get too far. I guess we could try, we may as well just try. Let's go, let me just run it. That door does not open. game have a discord because I need help um I would imagine so yeah most games have discords these days look up uh, CI games discord maybe it's there oh there's the Reaper I guess we have to try to take him on before the big guy because I don't want to take them both on at the same time oh of course there's more stuff up there Oh, the dogs are just chasing me down. Oh, boy. No! I blocked wrong. <laughs> Josh, your live streams have more viewers than channels with a million subs. That shows the quality of your work. Hey, I appreciate you noticing them. It means a lot to me. Thank you. I do indeed try to put in a lot of effort towards my content, so. 
Now I just got to do the same for my videos, right? But I'm working on that too. I'm just going to run. I got to go. I got places to be. Some people to stab and slash. Agra, what's up, man? Josh pays me to be here. <laughs> what's up, Eric? Oh my god. I actually really enjoy the sound design around the crossbows. They just sound so impactful. Ow. Like, the bolts sound like they would hurt if they hit you. You know what I mean? They really do. Ooh. Bitch. Not yet, Talon. I'm still uh, working on. I'm still working on my grounded playthrough, and then when I have all the content there, I'm going to be making. I don't know, somewhere between three and five videos on it to tell my ent the entire story of my experience there. You have to keep in mind, grounded is a pretty lengthy game, so I'm working on that. God damn it! There's always a crossbow guy. <laughs> oh my god! There he is, right up above. Okay, I'm going to go this way. Yep, here's these dudes. That makes sense to me. They do be chasing. Grounded is a very nice survival game. I agree. Oh, fail. The wall impact. You know what? That works. The amount of recoil that you get from smacking the wall is pretty intense. That guy had my juice. There we go. The juice. Hey. Oh, you're going to have the same moveset as the guy with the bell on his head, aren't you? Crossbow guy. Crossbow guy is not present. Ah, oh, bad time. Never mind, we're good. No touchy. Hey, there's the kitchen key, man. All right, open up the damn kitchen. <laughs> Dude, I was about to say as I opened up, guys, the guys, wait, there's going to be a crossbow guy that's going to have an angle on me as soon as I enter the room. And sure enough, dude. Sure enough. It It's it just so, so perfect. That one's bait, by the way. This item right here is a mimic. Don't touch it. You can tell that... I'm going to see if I can get this guy to drop an item as well. Oh, my crossbow bitch. Hold on. Oh, damn it. Drop an item for me. No item? 
Where's the other guy at? I will stab you from the sky. Come here. Are you the chef? Okay, so notice this item. Notice how the tail on it, you have like the circle part and then the tail, okay? Notice how the tail on it very gently moves. Very, very gently moves. Ever so slightly, just enough to notice that it is moving. Now this one over here, notice how it wriggles all over the place? See how it's just all sorts of movement there? That means it's a mimic. If you grab it, there's going to be something that pops out of the umbral, eats you up, and then you're stuck in the umbral after that moment. Camping the stairs? Yeah, he's a Call of Duty player, man. Doesn't open from this side. Oh, no. Show him what happens when you trigger the mimic. Nah, I'm good, dude. I'm good. Actually, you know what? Because I have to enter the umbral, you know what? Just to show you what happens, it, it just, just to show you, I will. I will trigger it right now, just for you. All right? If you want to see the difference a little better, here's two items side by side. On the left is a good item. That's an item you want to pick up. On the right is a mimic. And here's the difference. Left item, boom. Items in your pocket. The right item, you get your ass eaten up. Yup. Oh, I'm, I'm pressing the wrong buttons here. Have a rock. That's not what I wanted to do. Wither salts. Shark, thank you for the six euros. Oh my, hold on. Who are you? Thank you for six euros, Shark, Josh. Imagine Josh read the items wrong and they're all daggers instead of mimics. <laughs> imagine that. Every single one of those means it's a dagger this whole time. Okay. Hold up. Okay, there's something there, but let's take a look at this first. Look, you men, at the wickedness which can take root within the walls of our own house if we falter in our vigilance. Our rigorousness for even the briefest moment. See how malevolence and greed and weakness can twist the souls of those who once swore a solemn oath and then turn them away from the lights of our eternal lady, where they skulk and plot in shadow, waiting until they can enact their most foul betrayals. But above all else, heed what will be the fate of all traitors who submit to sin. All right, man. Uh, I think you should maybe take like a five minute breather. That was a little intense. Oh, God. What's up, Aaron? What's up, Ronaldo? I am on all sorts of stuck here. Oh, my God. That was a little too many enemies. I hate those moth things, man. Those are the worst. I think those are my least favorite enemy in the game. What's going on, Emmett? Hello there. Got blues pregame to tune into. Love my blues. Sounds good, Cole. 
Have a good night. Enjoy the enjoy the game, dude. Oh, that's quite the setback, isn't it? We can run most of it, though. Oh, I just got bopped in the back of the head there. Thank you again, Shark, for the six euros, man. Yeah, the impact of those crossbow bolts, man. You got a grasp on the story. So essentially we are one of many people that are just kind of going through the land, protecting the land from the revival of a very powerful god that was banished by humans at some point in the, in the universe some time ago. That giant hand we see in the distance is the hand of this god who controlled the world, and I don't know if they enslaved humanity or what, but they obviously did not get along. And so now we are one of those people trying to fend off the forces that are trying to bring that god back. The god's name is a deer. And I don't mean like doe a deer, a female deer. I mean like his name is a deer. A-D-Y-R. Crossbow man behind me. <laughs> Damn it, dude. Now I need to get back over there, so I just have to enter the uh, the umbral. All right. You're telling me a deer enslaves humanity? Yes. One, one singular deer enslaved all of humanity. True story. Don't you raise on me. Okay, we're good. You... Where, where the... Stuck again. Alright, so it looks like there's gonna be one of these moth fairy things up here no matter what. It was a big deer, yes. Don't crossbow me. How many vestiges do I have? How many ground babies? We have two. We have two ground babies. All right. I would love to stay and chat with you all, but actually, I kind of hate you, so I just got to go. Oh, you 
And then you run? Oh, you're such a bitch. Okay, that seemed faster than last time. What the hell? Ah! Uh, that son of a bitch just shot me. I can't have anything nice. I can't have health. I can't have daggers. You mother... It's fine. It's not his fault. He's just doing as he's programmed. <laughs> You like how I talk myself down? It's fine, man. He's just he's just programmed that way, you know? It's not his fault. Need to remember there's also a path back here, but you know, I want to get my uh, my stuff up here before I take that on. Yep, there's you. Give to me my juice. Thank you. I am so depressed. It's Jover. It's Jover. Suplex again. Yeah, it was my mistake putting them off screen like that. I was trying to focus down the egg. I was trying to kill egg. Clearly a mistake. game seems tough it, it adopts the idea of demon souls where you have these long lengthy runs with just crazy amounts of strong enemies i find them to be more difficult than the boss fights in this game much like demon souls Didn't think that would hit. We're fine now. Let me play the game, bud. I'm just making some mechanical mistakes. We'll get there. You actually had an angle on me there, you son of a bitch. Oh, he doesn't even try to reload. He just stands there. He just runs away and he's like, oh shit, I guess I'm dead. Before we go this way, we've learned there's a guy over here. Terrible timing to get stuck, dude. No, 
I dodged early. Suplexed. Okay. Alright, I deserve that. Despair's Burden. She dropped her pants. Nice. Accusing Spirit. Oh. Alright. I got over here and I'm accused of something. Great. We're doing okay, Scythe. The game is good, man. I'm having a good time with it. How are you? They just have a lot of health, Torsion. I mean, daggers aren't ex exactly, like, super strong, but they also have a lot of health. What? Why is there so many of you? Okay. I guess I'll die. Oh! Yep, no healing. Very good. I'm just gonna grab this, because I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna die. Okay, so the good news is I don't have to go to the other side and fight that moth fairy thing. So we'll be able to get back up there and go the other way and still have some healing to go about it. Nice scythe. Nice man. He used string shot and it was super effective indeed, man. My god. I got caught on a bench. Oh, go. I'm stuck in the wood. All right, cool. <laughs> cool, man. Okay, breather. I hear them walking up behind me. So there's the thing, there's these other paths here before I go the other way, I kind of want to check out. Crossbow guy. Classic. There's going to be a couple doggos up here and a cleric. Oh. Well, that didn't go well. Oh, you just kind of hung a human up there. That's normal. I can't see. I'm bleeding. Okay. This crossbow bitch. Hey guys, just running on by. Just gonna, you know. Hope I can find like a vestige or something. Duty's chime. That looks like a halberd to me. Oh. Well, this isn't good. Yep. 
Nice, another crossbow, dude. Love that. <laughs> I, I'm in panic mode, dude. Oh my god, it's a whole vestige. I have found a vestige! Papa bless. <laughs> All right. Hey, John, that's very nice of you to say, man. Thank you. Thank you, dude. I appreciate the kindness. Okay, so we got this. Now, I guess I'm just going to go get my my souls because I don't want to lose out on all those. <laughs> Man said, <"Duh." laughs> All right, you coming up to shoot me or what's the deal here? Oh my god. A tracking. These guys were trained in the crossbow school of gods. You like the game so far? I do. Yeah. My only real criticism is just the amount of enemies that the game throws at you. Oh. I know that's part of the game. I get that. So I'm not complaining about it too much. I'm actually trying just, just like having fun about it. Just talking shit. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's the only real criticism that I have overall is just the sheer amount of enemies just makes it feel like you don't even get a single moment to breathe. When it comes to games like this, a lot of the game is just pure atmosphere, right? And I want to explore those atmospheres, but the game doesn't really give you the time to do that. Like, look at that. If I wanted to take a moment to stop and just look around, a guy spawns right next to me. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but like the environments in the game are really sick. I just can't really stop to look at them too much. A mob density is very Dark Souls 2 like it is. Hey, Reason Dixon, thank you for the fiver. Whoever invented crossbows in this realm is a billionaire. He showed it to this village and was like, yo, <laughs> that's damn true, man. Thanks for the fiver, Dixon. I appreciate it a lot, dude. Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you so much. What is this bouncy little shit? What is happening? Oh my god. Emerge! Oh, well. This is the thing. Nor the way down, but to fall. And that's a big man with a hammer down there. And a bell on his head, let's not forget. How many of you guys are there? Bro. 
Bring a ding. My god, I can't believe I dodged it. Oh, I heard the other ones? Yeah, that, that is a nice thing, is his AoE will do damage to them as well. Can I open this from this side? Oh my god, this is going to be a time saver. Oh yeah, we're back in the kitchen, baby. Papa Bless. Oh, look at that guy. <laughs> Thank you, John. Yeah, I mean... I would say overall that I'm grateful for what I, you know, where I am, though. Like, everything that's transpired has led me on the road that I'm on now. And I do happen to enjoy my life, so overall I'm pretty happy. Overall, pretty peace. Thanks for the kind words, dude. Assuming these stairs, yep, okay, there's a guy up there. Let me check out over here real fast. Empyrean Grenade. Huh. Interesting design choice. I think they should hire a new interior designer. I'm just going to put that out there. Is it you that's grunting? Yeah, he's the grunter. Right, I gotta check out that side. I can't just leave. Someone just pop up behind me? Oh, okay. Ooh. that it refilled his stamina is bullshit. Why? <laughs> that refilled his stamina, man. I was about to get a critical hit on him, but suddenly him casting a spell gave him all his stamina back. 
heartbreaking. Oh, we found some chicken nuggets. Nice. Hey. Now, Pilgrim, deliver the punishment which was decreed. Rector. Forgive me. Oh! Oh! Jesus! Okay, this is a prime example of what I just talked about. A prime example. Because you will find the punishment for so That guy was nowhere in this room. I defeated all the enemies here, so I check out the environment, which the game wants you to do, and then another enemy appears. Why? <laughs> that guy was not part of the fight. All of a sudden, he's just here. That one is bait. Don't take the bait. There's an item over there. Okay, I am highly interested in maybe putting down a ground baby. Nope. All right, man. All right. The only thing I take on a daily basis to Venus is vitamins. R vitamins? Yeah, R vitamins. Alright, we go to the kitchen, but that's okay. This is fine because we do indeed have a shortcut that we opened up in the kitchen. Big hammer guy is alive again. Oh, you covered a lot more ground than I was prepared for. Oh my Jesus! Why? Fills a stamina. Damn. More and more as time goes on, I just don't see the point in parrying in this game either. That really sucks. Like, why should a, an enemy that is considered a basic enemy at this point have a spell that gives him all the stamina back when he's about to lose it? Plus, parrying makes me wither myself, so I lose my max health a little bit when I do it. Man. That is... That is a tough go.
yeah, RJ, I'm overall, I'm having a good time. There are some caveats that, you know, I think could be improved, like the parry system that I just mentioned, but overall, I do, do enjoy my time with this. Surely there's an enemy hiding up here. No? Alright, there's a way to return from Umbral right there. Umbral? Words are hard. That's bait. Don't take the bait. Oh, let me heal, brother. Let me grab my juice. Okay. Disabled frame gen in the new patch. Yeah, I saw that. Are you? I was about to ask if he's kidding, but he's clearly not. Damn it. Let me see what kind of frames I'm getting. I'm kind of sad they turned off, they uh, got rid of frame gen. I don't know why they would remove that option entirely. Just, I don't know. Took away right around like a third of my FPS. This area is something, man. Crossbow idiot. Oh, you know what we a strat we can do is we can just kind of run through that. That's the thing I can do very much so. That wall will block them from following up on me. Hey, RVG, what's up? I continue using daggers for the whole playthrough? Yeah, that's the plan. Alright, one swing too many there, a little greedy.
fire burn ignite salts. All right, another shortcut. Cool. I debatably should have left that closed, however. Because if I left it closed, I could have went around and used that as a, like that gate I mentioned earlier, as a hard stop for them to follow me. Yeah, I didn't really think that through. Now opening that, they're able to just follow me in here if I die again. Which is not great. But, here's another shortcut. Well, I know where this is. I saw this when I passed by there earlier. Nice and calm and casual killing of the crossbow man. You good? Uh oh. Someone's getting stretched out down here. What the? What the? Alright, there's one of those effigy things for the umbral. Hey, man. Oh. Okay. That sweep is pretty quick. I'm going to plant a ground baby here. I think this is a good point to do so. Now let's upgrade. Four levels in vitality. Surely my survivability will go up. Well, I mean, Nedzex, that's something that is something that's universal with a lot of games. A lot of RPGs borrow aspects from one another. Uh, Action-adventure games, Souls-likes are no different from that factor, man. If it's a Souls-like, by definition, then there's going to be certain mechanics that are going to be similar. That's what, you know, helps it define it as a Souls-like, right? That's the entire premise. Where did I hear Crossbow from? I just heard crossbow. There you are. What's up, little monster? It never opens from the side that I'm on, man. Man, if you can get to the side of one of those dogs, man, that's such a clutch thing to happen. Yeah, I'm doing okay, little monster. Much love to you, buddy. Oh, 
Oh, another one of these Rector guys. Followed up by a crossbow dude. Two crossbow dudes. Oh my god, what a glorious thing to happen. <laughs> what a glorious thing. Alright, you know what? You do your thing. I'm gonna go kill crossbow dudes. They, they, they cannot be allowed to stand. Oh, I thought I dodged. I guess not. See, the fights against these enemies actually incentivize you to parry. If you want to get through them easier, parrying is the way to go. Once they start healing, you can you can kind of coax out a certain attack from them. That is, you know, something that's easier to parry because it's very predictable. And so parrying against those enemies is like... It, I think the design is at this point where they want you to parry certain enemies and then other enemies they don't want you to parry at all. Like the clerics, the guys with the maces and the round shields, they don't want you to parry those guys. But these guys, they very much so do. So I guess in their defense, their design idea is around splitting up how you're supposed to play the game. Which I think is okay, overall. I guess I just like the idea of being able to parry everything if a parry mechanic exists in general. What's up, Hawkwinds? Oh, let me see if I can get through that door with the Umbral Lantern. Negative. Oh, uh, oh no, it's one of the Hound Masters. What are you doing here? Well, I got through that quickly. That's good. There's another one to the right. But it's seeping. Wakey, wakey. Radiant arrows. Another dog and two more dogs. Okay. Gonna do something? Alright, that worked out. Down there. 
This area is something, man. This area is something. Quite lengthy. Oh, hey, how you doing? How you doing, huh? Oh, hey, Mr. Cleric. You have a follower of sorts. Let me get rid of that for you. Are you gonna... Are you really trying to make me fight two of these guys at once? Okay. Got blocked by the wall. Okay, bro. Looks like he found his way up those stairs. What is that behind me? Oh. <laughs> One of the big head guys. I don't know. Uh, I, I guess my point is, Ned, is the game is something that I find to be, you know, of pretty decent quality as far as comparatively to a lot of other Souls likes. I think that overall, we should be happy when something is, you know, something that we enjoy and not really harp so much on things that we don't enjoy. It's fine to have feedback, it's fine to not like something. But I think just kind of going on and on about it, it, it just. I just, I just don't know. I just don't think that it's the right approach overall. You know me. I, I, I have the philosophy of, you know, not every game is for everyone, and that's totally fine. If you don't like that it does some, does things that you've seen in other games, then that's fine. Just move on to the next. Um... Getting lit up. What's up, Tutu? I'm enjoying the game. I'm having a good time. Damn it, I didn't even get to kill the guy. I'm just going to run. There's gonna be a million dogs on me. It's fine. It's fine. Totally all right. My souls are lost. That's not okay. Who has them? One of the clerics, I assume. Yep. Dude, these dogs will chase you to the end of the earth. Holy shit. Chest over here leads me to believe that there's going to be a boss fight in this circular room. Oh, double boss. And the dog is here too. Sick. Love that for us. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I keep timing my dodges so poorly. <laughs> I'm enjoying it, Wenny. How have you been? Welcome back. And again, I'm not saying that you can't have like a a bad opinion of the game or not not bad bad a negative opinion you know what i mean like you're not you're not intended to like everything in life life would be boring if everyone enjoyed the same things that's how we have variety i just you know i'm of the mindset that if you don't like it then just move on and i think that's something that could be shared by many more people overall
There's plenty of other souls like out there, you know, that maybe you'll enjoy more. Even Lies of P recently has done pretty well for a lot of people. Come on. You son of a... How are you so big that you block my entire path and shoot me in the mouth point blank? You are a skilled, skilled crossbow man. Holy hell, brother. Anyway, we made it back to the boss. Ooh, okay. Okay. Bro, the delay to your attacks is something. That is, uh, that is something. Oh my god. Alright. Well then. Hey, right on, Winnie. Right on, dude. It seems that um, those delayed attacks are going to be something to fear. Oh, crossbow, guys. All right, guys, which enemy do we think is worse? The moth fairy things in the umbral realm or crossbow dudes? Oh, come on! Oh, too early. And I can't see a damn thing. Oh, I'm stuck. Nice. Oof. Oof. Ah! Damn it. Oh, don't tell me it's going to be some weird mechanic. I have to kill them simultaneously. I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Is that crossbow guys just because they're so overly plenty? Yeah, there are a lot of them, and they all hit really hard. Alright, I think we have a beat on how to make this happen, though. I think I've got a beat on this. Yo, Chris, with 20 months? Thank you, dude. Are you proud of me, Dad? Never haven't been. Ah, God, dude. I think anything with any type of arrow or bolt. Yeah. Anything with any type of arrow or bolt is just... Yikes. Thank you for 20 months, Urban. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Keep dodging early. Oh gosh, she's gonna stab. Ah! Too early again, dude. It's like the bane of my existence is rolling too early on this uh, this boss right now. Oh! All right, one HP. Every time it's too early. <laughs> Eric, thank you for 15 months. This community never ceases to amaze me. Much love, friends, and I couldn't ask for a more incredible group of amazing people. I appreciate the kindness, man. Thank you, dude. Thank you very much, Eric. Are there any healing gems like Demon Souls? Yeah, there's the uh, Brio something. I've not been using them, if I'm honest. Brio stones. You got Brio stones, Brio stone pair, and trio. Same with the mana. You don't get a whole lot of them, though, so I've just not been using them. One wild battle. Yeah. Thing is, too, is uh, so far it seems pretty straightforward. It's just the delay on the attacks is really throwing me off. Okay. We go again. Oh. See that 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 attack right there, the um the underhand one? I just fail to predict properly.
Yep. Okay. What is wrong with me? Whoa, that's new. Okay. Ah, right into that. Okay. Damn, dude. If I didn't get hit by that holy sword on the ground, I would have dodged that other attack, but it hit me right at the second I went to dodge, so. I need to try to find a way to keep those on screen more so I can actually witness them when they're moving around and be aware of their presence and all that, because if I just put them off screen and forget about them, then I'm just gonna keep dying like I just did. I gotta stop making that mistake. got the run down though in a way where I'm not able to get hit by a whole lot of bolts as long as I uh, you know keep up with it properly damn I missed that Too early. Oh my, I'm dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Oh. Ah. The timing. Unreal. Unbelievable. Oh. Oh my God. It never fails. Why'd you do the underhand there? The nice thing about the swords that go on the ground is they are predictable in which way they're going to move because they always move, uh, you know, in some way along one of the blades. Ah, shit. What I didn't even see that. I just stepped right onto it. I think we're getting better though. What do you think of doing on Discord sometimes? I don't know what you mean. I don't understand the question. Discord is what some you know what we use to kind of have a gathering place for our community when we want to chat, you know, when I don't have like a new video out or 
uh, when I'm not live streaming. I don't do anything more and have no more plans than that for Discord. Just gotta keep in mind that, uh, you know, I have a personal life as well. I can't spend literally every waking moment <laughs> being online. Get the hell out of the way. Let me check this room out. Maybe there's a... Uh... Aha. A ground baby! Alright, I'm all out of vestige seeds. I've used all of my vestige seeds on this area, by the way. Every single one. It's Unreal Engine 5, Paco. It's uh, The entire engine is designed around increased particle effects. That has nothing to do with a regional thing. of doing voice chat on Discord. If there's people that want to do that, they're more than welcome to. I don't have thoughts on it either way. There are channels in our Discord server for that. Oh, I went the wrong way. Have a good night, Aaron. I'll see you later. What's up, Indy? How have you been, man? Early? Damn it. Oh. Yeah, that parry's not worth it at all. What the hell was that? on this is a little wonky. I'm noticing that sometimes my hits are just not registering. Have a kick. Oh, you just did another backhand I was not ready for. Okay. 
All right, I think it's best to take out Kira first then. I mean, Paco, they look very similar to all of their, um, all of Unreal Engine 5's de tech demos that they've had in the last couple of years, man. It's very much so that same way. <clears throat> but the other statues come alive when you're done? I hope not. I thought they were both going to be the same in the moves that they do, but it turns out that only one is casting the golden swords here. Okay. The Jedi Souls game? Yeah. Oh. Damn. Okay, maybe it's not best to take out Kira first. I'm not really finding much window of opportunity to do some good damage to her. Thrust is so subtle. so dusty. They've been sitting around doing a whole lot of nothing for a while, I think. Oh. Not a good time for that. Damn it. Just lost more health than I gained. <laughs> okay, we have to go for Loren first. There's just too much shit to uh, worry about otherwise. What's up, Smitty? How you doing? Get your souls? There wasn't a lot of souls there. It's fine. I think we went in and lost like um, 1,300 or something like that. Really not a lot. I'm doing well, Indy. I'm doing well, man. Ugh. Gotta stop getting greedy on that. Oh, 
too early again. Oh, you do revive. And you give them a lot of health. Son of a bitch. Oh, this fight. Oh, no, dude. Okay, so we got to work on getting them both low health and then killing them within a, a good, like, 20, 30 second window of one another. I had a feeling, man. I had a feeling it was going to be that way. Shit, shit, shit. I called it. I knew it. <laughs> Thank you for 600 likes on the video, guys. That's why Kyra doesn't care if you kill Loren. Yeah. Yup. That was stupid and greedy. Oh. No more going for the fourth hit at all. Strictly illegal. God, dude, this is so annoying. Okay, now I'm thinking maybe I just need to go for Kyra first and just tough it out get her as low health as possible and then try to like, take them both out from there because Loren following me around like this is an actual nightmare. Like she just catches up to me so quickly.
So we need to go after Pyra first. Or maybe just kind of take it moment by moment and whittle them both down slowly. I think maybe maybe that's the approach. Focus on Kyra until Loren goes, um, you know, her holy mode. And then from there, focus on her so that we don't get hit by her as much. Oof. Bad time to heal, but we're okay. That's a lot of swords. Yep. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Actually insane. <laughs> this fight is a nightmare, man. Just got hit by a million things all at once. That combo, dude. I really should probably upgrade my daggers. I have the materials to do so. But man, I, I'm just trying to save materials for like new daggers. Anyone know what she's saying? Oh my god. I just completely did not react to that at all. I think my secret here is to not lock on. Oh, 
Oh, I keep dodging that ever so slightly late. Trying to separate them a little bit here. Oh, too early. Ah, damn it. Gotta be very nimble in this fight. Oh, shit. All right, we can probably go after Loren now. You're swinging your sword. All right, let's keep distance from Loren. Damn it. That was our best go yet. Sounds like see me sign. Maybe. Yeah. That's kind of what I thought too, Camacho. Actually got some really great damage down. Oh. Typical. I can't believe I didn't take that hit. Don't poke me.
actually like when she does that, because then I can get some hits on this one. What the heck? Oh, I took that hit. No poking! Oh, too early. I kind of panic a little bit when uh, Kira or Kyra, however you say the name, starts to go melee mode after all the spell casting. Ooh. This really is just a battle of attrition. Just, just pokey poke. Look at that, it's 75. Just going for the very ungreedy approach. One, two, maybe three hits. And then backing off, resetting. Okay, that was a little poorly timed on my behalf, but we're doing all right. I'm using daggers a lot, so the, naturally the damage is low on them. This fight's like a bullet hell fight. Sliced. Oh my god, I don't know why I did that. Why not just focusing on one? Because you have to kill them both in a small window of time. Otherwise, they revive one another. Damn it. Oh, Christ. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh. Okay. That that was something, man. That was something. We got it. You see how um they both died at the same time though? When I took down the first one, it went down on one knee. You can go back and look at a little bit of uh I think it was like I don't know, 15 20 minutes ago where I killed one of them, but then the other one brought it back to life. So you have to kill them both simultaneously. That's why I was like poking at them, you know, just getting what damage I could in, taking my time. Because that's really all you can do in a fight like that. Okay, I kind of dig it. The Statue of Liberty thing going on here. Kind of dig it. But also, they gave me one of their swords. Was it the Sin Piercer? Or what was it called? I'd imagine it would be a long sword, not a short sword, right? Oh, there it is. Luminous Abiding Defender Sword. Damn, that thing is cool. Damn. <laughs> the way my character has to wrench it up to his shoulder again. It looks a little like right card sword, yeah. That's a fun fight, though, overall. It's tough. But it was cool. All right. Still haven't found any new daggers, by the way. Still have not found a single new dagger. We're still using the very base game daggers that we got when we made our Exiled Stalker. So it is what it is there. But hey, we're we're progressing. We're making it through. All right. We're, we're getting there. Still no better dagger. Nope. But okay, guys, I'm going to call it a night here. We're, uh, we're going to leave off here. I am very hungry, so I'm going to go eat some food. I'll be back again tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern time to hang out and play more Lords of the Fallen. We're going to progress through this the rest of this area and see what comes up next. Took down a few bosses today. I'm happy about it. I think it's a good spot to leave off. But I'll be back tomorrow, 4 p.m. Eastern time. If you haven't already left a like on the video, make sure you do. We be, we're beyond 625, which is awesome. Thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate it. Much love to you all, and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Until then, be excellent to each other. Good night, everyone.